Hey beautifuls, welcome to your reading. So today's reading is going to be very interesting. Oh, and happy Mother's Day to any of the mothers out there or to your guys' moms. Um, but today we are going to find out what is the current gossip about you. So what is everybody saying? We're going to find out all the secrets, all the details, all the tea. Today we're finding it out. And if you guys have never been to a pick a card, what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these crystals. So whatever one you like, whatever one you're drawn to. So just use your intuition to have it guide you and pull you in to the specific crystal that's calling your name. So this is group one, group two, and group three. And I'll put the time description down below and I will see you in your reading. Bye guys. Hey beautifuls, welcome to your reading. So first off, I just want to say that I can really tell that people are talking about you, okay? And I think it's going to be super interesting to find out what they are saying. So to start it off, we have Sandpiper Spirit, Be Playful. Whoa. Then we have Butterfly Spirit, Transformation is Beautiful. So both of these spirit animals fly. So you are flying into a higher dimension. You're actually moving on and you're transforming. Hey, look, another one. We can't make it up. Be spirit. Sweet results await. So honestly, you guys, people are saying really good things about you. You have a lot of people that really love you and a lot of people that care about you. So this isn't like negative gossip or people that are being jealous. You actually have some really true people that really care about you, whether this is family members, a lover, you know, a potential lover, or just friends around you. Around you, A lot of people are saying really like good things about you. So I feel like some of the things that people are saying is that you have went through a dark time in your past. Maybe you have really went through some difficult struggles. And I'm sorry if you went through that, but I can tell now that with all of these um, spirit animals being able to fly, that you are being able to fly and people are saying that about you. And you used to be a little caterpillar, right? But you always had faith in your potential to be that butterfly. And in the middle, she has a crown on and you have that crown. So people are saying that you are very queenly, very kingly. And then interesting too with bees, we have the queen bee. So I feel like people are saying that you are very much a queen. You are very powerful. Also, people love your playful and sweet spirit. So I feel like there's something about you that's like very playful and very fun. And I feel like kids really like you. And so it's like a, a Leo type of energy. Even if you're not a Leo, you exert like a Leo cre creative, happy, beautiful energy like that. And so let's get more on what is the gossip about you. So we have, you, you're you already doing it. Stop overthinking it. Oh, overthinking. Keep facing your true north. And then we have star mother. How can you mother yourself? Wow. So I feel like for some of you guys... Like your mother is very proud of you right now. Or if that doesn't resonate with you, it's like, it could be lots of different. Oh, hey, today's Mother's Day. So for any of the moms out there, happy Mother's Day. But um, you have a very motherly energy. You have a very feminine energy. And people say this about you. All the cards are very beautiful and very magical. So people feel like you have an energy that's very higher dimensional, dimensional and it's angelic-like. You have an angelic type of energy because all your spirit animals are flying. You're flying to a higher dimension. You're going places that other people have not gone. And also, you have an eye to where you want to go. And you're already doing it. So whether you're in work or school or working out or whatever it is, maybe you're not doing it, but you have a vision and you have a goal People are talking about this because they they look at you like you're already doing it. You're you are already on that level. So let's find out more. So then we have the eight of swords in reverse. 
So I feel like you have really came out of, because it's reversed. So I feel like this is like a past tense energy where maybe in the past that you have struggled. And people have no noticed that you did struggle because we all struggle in the past. But they can see that you have overcome the situation. And that is so powerful and it's very inspiring when other people see someone that has went through dark times and they've transformed right in the middle the trans transformation is beautiful and then we have the two of wands so i can see that like you have a vision or a goal that you are going towards that you are wanting to complete that you are wanting to manifest and you are already doing it so a lot of people are talking about how you're just a boss how you're just powerful like, even though you're so powerful, it's like you're still very sweet and you're very motherly when you do this. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I can tell that people are saying, like, you're really working hard. So for some of you guys, you're doing better in your work or your school. Or you could even be just looking better physically and you're getting more of, like, this beautiful and like sexy like motherly energy where you're really tapping into that divine feminine and maybe starting to get your own style or your own look about you and this is incredibly sexy because not everybody has that magnetic energy where you literally fly up into the other dimensions and you have an otherworldly um look and um aura around you so people are saying overall very positive things about you you inspire other people, you have a positive impact on your life, you have a very pure soul, and that has radiated all over these cards. Okay guys, I hope that connected with you, I hope it resonated, if it did, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will see you again next time, thank you, bye! Hey beautifuls, welcome to your reading, oh my gosh, so I just started to get super hot, hot as, start, as soon as I started your reading, I feel like there's some hot gossip going around right now. I feel like that's how spirit connects with you. And the cards are flying out. Okay, so we have Hummingbird Spirit. Be here now. I feel like I was feeling like that fire, that exclamation point, you know? There's so much energy towards you. We have Panther Spirit. Reclaim your power. Number 44 right in the middle. Whoa, you guys are freaking powerful. And then we have... Armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. Okay, so I'm getting a couple different messages. Something that I'm getting really strong is that there's a tug of war with you, with other people. Um, other people want to fight for your attention and other people want to be around you. So, and you also have people that are copying you, okay? You have a lot of people that they like your energy, they like your style, they like who you are, they like who you are as a person, and some people are, are trying to copy that energy. They want to be like you, they want to be on your level. But this is a very powerful level, having number 44 and master number right in the middle enhances and brings up all these cards and make them makes them extremely powerful so um to start it off we have hummingbird spirit be here now so people are talking about the hummingbird is so fast and you can't catch it so i can tell that people are really trying to catch your capture your attention they're trying to catch you you have some love interests that are really interested in you they're very sexually interested in you um, your aura, people are talking about the actual aura that you radiate and give off. It's very sweet and it's very sexy, but it's also very powerful. So you have very powerful eyes. People are talking about your eyes and they're talking about how, um, there's not a lot of people like you and they know that you have a special gift or something that you're really good at and just your overall sex appeal that not everybody has so we have reclaim your power so people are talking about how you have really reclaimed your power and how you've actually gotten hotter i don't know why they want like i want to use that word but it's like you've gotten hotter you've gotten sexier you've you've went up onto the next level and people are really trying to copy this they're really trying to copy you i'm sorry guys i know how it is when people try to copy you and it's kind of like 
just do your own thing but it's because you're inspiring to other people so you don't have to take it like it's annoying or anything you could just take it as a compliment and then we have our medela spirit set healthy brown boundaries so um I feel like people know that you have to kind of draw that line because a lot of people are interested in you. They're captivated by you. They like your energy. They think you're sexy. And you have you have followers, okay? You have people that are trying to follow you energetically on social media, whatever it is. And you kind of know like, hey, this is my area. This is my look. This is what I'm doing. But it's like, it's hard for them because they see you and they want to mirror you and they want to copy you. And then we have um, Arama. Where are you being called to journey to? So there's like a very like free spirit energy with this right by the hummingbird. It's like you have a free soul. And people are very attracted to that and they're captivated by that because you go your own way. You you don't care like so much to fit in with other people. And your unique energy is not something you can copy and paste. You're not a copy and paste. You're unique. And you have this certain type of sex appeal that it's not something that you can just get on a filter on Snapchat or Instagram. It's like you actually have very true beauty like you are very beautiful and you're naturally beautiful um so it's like also your your energy is very beautiful so when you have energy like that it radiates on your physical skin and it, it creates even more beauty your smile's more beautiful your eyes are more beautiful and that captures even more people and then we have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion. I was just talking about that. Very beautiful. They're talking about how you're beautiful. Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. So you are this leader. You're a teacher. And people can feel this type of energy within you that um, you have like other sisters, right? That are um, inspired by you. They're inspired by your beauty, by your teaching ability, by your mystical energy, also, roses. Roses really smell good. And I see other flowers over here as well. So there's an, there's an energy here with flowers. I feel like a weird energy I'm getting is that there's so many different flowers and there's so many different colors. But we don't say this flower is more beautiful than another flower. We just kind of see them all as beautiful. And we put them all together in one. And give it to your mom on Mother's Day or whatever it is. And it's like you have an energy where you accept everybody for who they are. You don't care what religion they are, what skin color they are, um, or anything that would, you know, if they're lesbian, gay, or trans. It's like you don't care because you know it's the soul. And you can love each person for the color, the race, or the way they... Um, label themselves and identify it's like you we just know like you just know that we are all souls and you love people for who they are so that's very inspiring because oh my gosh this is crazy we have the ever unfolding rose so i was just talking about that so all the different roses all the different flowers in the garden you see each individual for who they are so you don't judge them and you love them for who they are so like that's amazing. I want to be your guys' friend. This is a beautiful energy, a very non-judgmental energy, but also very sexy and very powerful. And you're this very independent being that is kind of setting the bar really high and inspiring others to kind of get on that level. And then we have the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is a very happy card. It's actually the marriage card and it's a very stable card. And it's four and we have 44 right here. So I feel like you're very stable. You're very grounded. And I feel like someone wants to marry you. Or you are just the type that people want to marry. So you have that ty type of energy where they want to bring you home. And they want to introduce them to their mom and their dad. It's just like you are very like someone to be proud of. And then we have the hangman reverse. So I feel like. 
feel like a lot of people have a hard time like letting you go. I feel like they're very attached. So for some of you guys, this is a past partner that is talking about you and they're not able to actually let go of this connection because we do have the four of wands right next to it with a couple. So I'm feeling the energy that some people, um, whether you dated this person or you just sneaky link or had like a friendship or whatever, they have a hard time. This person is having a hard time letting you go because they see your potential and they were truly in love with you at one point because we have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like people can see that you are also just very destined for a beautiful and happy life. This is such a happy reading and there's so much love and truly like people are very happy for you. And there's just like some energy here that like you know, I feel like there's like a lover, a past lover that can't let you go and they are talking about you a lot. They're not bashing you and they're not saying anything bad, but it's more so that they just can't let it go. I feel like this person felt like you guys could have had a future together, you know, and maybe you just felt like you didn't want this person or they were playing games or you just felt like maybe there's a better match for you. This specific person, they're still holding on to you. But I feel like your energetic, like a future is very positive for you. I feel like you have very positive energy coming for you and in your life. And I feel like people can see that and are talking about it right now. Okay, you guys, I hope that connected with you. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing and come back next time. Bye. Hey, beautifuls. Welcome to your reading. Let's go ahead and find out. What are people talking about? So we have break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Oh, so many cards came out. I feel like people are really, really talking about you because you went through a big change. So we have you, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. And then we have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So something very interesting is that your family is talking about you a lot and I feel like your family is very amazed by you right now. I feel like you have went through a period of transformation where maybe you have been in a dark place or you've been in a cave and I feel like you have stepped out of it and you're tapping into the true potential that you have. I feel like you might have lost awareness of the true potential that lies within you but I feel like within you is a powerhouse. I feel like within you is this incredibly strong person that's resilient, that's smart, that's beautiful, that's intuitive, and that can create things that no one else can create, that, that you have this futuristic energy that you're able to be 20 steps ahead of everybody else. Like you're at tomorrow and everyone's at yesterday. You're able to be on the next level. So people are really talking about how you've completely transformed and changed your life. And it's hard for some people because they um, they always saw your potential, right? Everyone around you has always seen your potential. But maybe you just felt like you haven't been on it yet. And you're getting on it. You're doing it. You're being that person. And that's extremely powerful. Because you know why? You started to believe in yourself. We have squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. But So people can see that you have started to believe in yourself. And you are more powerful. You are more, even more radiant. You're even stronger than you were before. And the thing is, is you're already doing it. You're doing it right now. You're this powerful person right now. So let's get another one. And then we have chameleon spirit, act as if. So it's like you have this strong energy where you can go with different people of different colors, with different races, with different labels, you know, and you're able to blend in and to go into all different uh, places and everybody likes you. 
you have this very likable spirit that you're able to go in all different directions and you're able to to use the dark times that you went through and to put them into light times and to put them into better things and you've um, actually flown out of dark situations and went other places so um whoa so we have spider spirit make your dreams real so i'm feeling like with the spider spirit for some reason that some people are a little bit jealous of you okay because you have came out of this dark cave and you have transformed yourself and you have moved on and i feel like for some people it's like they'll actually for everybody they already knew it was possible for you they already knew you had the power they already knew you were incredibly beautiful they already knew all this energy within you but it's hard it, it's hard for some people to see you doing so well and then we have death so for some people this has like been extremely hard for them because i mean don't get me wrong you have your family and you have loved ones that care about you so much and they love to see you doing good but the death card is transformation so you really have transformed and for some people they um this could be an ex-lover or this could just be some people that are just watching your social media you know and it's like they just they want to do better than you but it's like they're just not period they're not you are doing better than them we have the ace of pentacles it's all here the energy is all here and it's like you are this prize right you are on this level there's a tenderness here when people hold you and when they talk about you. So even when you do have people that are jealous and when you do have people that are talking about you and talking about how much you've changed, how much better you're doing, how you actually believe in yourself, that you're doing better in school or work or working out or having your own idea or project or new relationship or just also getting more attention, you're getting a lot of attention right now and this can make other people jealous but they're not bashing you, you know, they're not putting you down, but there is an energy here, it's like a slow, crawly energy where uh, they're always just watching, right, they're not going to come in and attack you or anything like that, but they are looking, and they are also very entertained by you, there's a very, you're, inter you're an entertaining person because you're very interesting, if all these different cards, there's so many layers to all these cards. And you're not just one way type of person. You are seen in so many different ways. And let's get one more card on what is the gossip about you. Okay. We have the Emperor. So many, see, there's so many different lo levels to you. We have masculine energy. We have feminine energy. We have your family talking about you. We have some people that are maybe, you know, a little bit more jealous of you. And it's because you're a boss and it's because you're so strong. And we have believe in yourself and we have the emperor. The emperor total, totally believes in themselves. You are that powerful person, whether you're a male or a female. It's like, I feel like you have your own ability to be your own boss so whether you are your own boss already or this is something you want to do i feel like you have the building blocks within your body within your soul um that you can make this happen also with the emperor it could be that you're working out or your physical body is looking better because aries aries is all about you know that physical rush that physical energy um, Aries also rules the first house, which is your rising sign, which is the body. So your body is looking a lot better because we have the Ace of Pentacles right next to it. And we can see how difficult that could be for the spider energy, for this death card. Because it's like, you know, like when people do better, but that person knows better. That's what's so interesting is this like little group of people that see you doing so much better they they've always known better they've always known your place they've always known your, your rightful place as king or queen okay guys i hope that connected with you i hope it resonated i really did 
And if you have any suggestions, please drop them in the comments. I love to help you guys feel better or, or entertain you guys or, or find clarity in your life. Okay, bye guys.